so oh wait 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 a minute is that a pirate flag a rank one player oh man now i gotta kill him and girls, this is Anjax, and we're playing World of Warships today. This is Tier 5 US Destroyer Nicholas. First things first, I'll let you know some basic things about it without going into boring details too long. First thing you should remember is that Nicholas, as almost all US Destroyers, is a gunboat. So main thing you should know is your gun range, which is 10.9 kilometers, and concealment, which is 6.5 kilometers, because you don't have luxury of launching torpedoes without being detected. And you should primarily focus on being the best little ship, annoying the enemy from smoke or on the move. You don't have a large HP pool, just 13,100 hit points. Your armor is crap, and your torpedoes are pretty bad compared to Japanese with 5.5 kilometer range. Don't get me wrong, Nicholas still have torpedoes, and as a matter of fact, you have a large complement of them on both sides. But, they're short-range torpedoes and should be used only in ambush situations or when enemies close but not aware of how much firepower you can bring with them. So, without further delay, let's take her to the sea. General quarters. So, we have Tier 5 Nicholas with Main Armaments Modification 1 and Damage Control System Modification 1 module. For my captain, I have Basic Fire and Training, Last Stand, and Superintendent with Demolition Expert on the way, Needle, and on War Point. You can use Torpedo Armament Sector on second level, but Last Stand is just mandatory because, as a destroyer, when you are receiving fire, one of the first things that gets damaged is your engine and or steering. So, being able to maneuver. With those two damaged is something you need to have as a destroyer. Back to the game. We are on a map in Fold Line and I spawn on the eastern side of the map. And when that happens, I almost always go for C aggressively in this map, except in cases when I'm all alone. But in any case, if you are close to C or A, you should always go for it because B is wide open and uh, if you get spotted, it gets a bit tricky. I'm closing on C with this island in mind and I will try to use it as a cover for as much as I can. It can be dangerous because uh, you might get too close unnoticed and stop along, say, a cruiser that can shred you to pieces. But luck favors the bolt, so don't be afraid to push aggressively if you have some support because you can always smoke and react to the situation. And here I was checking out ships behind me just to make sure what support I can count on. And here we still don't have anyone. On the horizon. Hmm, oh, there's an enemy cruiser detected by friendly aircraft. I'm well outside of these detection range, so pushing C is still viable, but that doesn't mean I will go wide. No, no, no. Hugging the island is your number one move with US destroyers. It looks like enemy cruiser changed its mind for some reason, and that can mean uh, several things. He's either alone. And just returning, or he's positioning himself for a better support. That means I might have some destroyer action soon. So angle a bit for guns to be ready to fire and push on. Uh, it looks like there's boost no one else here, but okay. at least one destroyer is close. And I get gotta be careful. And uh, here are guns. Torpedoes. Uh, so maneuver to avoid and push on. He probably had a hunch the destroyer might be close and launch torpedoes. If that is a good move, you can't hit him unless you launch him anyway. I'm continuing to push. With this counter in mind, and I sure would love to kill him because he can kill me a lot easier. Fire the gun, he's always detected. There's no point to hide anymore, but I'm getting. Close with island partially in cover, so I smoke and position myself to fire on him. Uh, I was lucky that Conningsburg was bow onto me, trying to go to a feeder room, friendly to a feeder. And uh, now he doesn't have firing solution. 
No. Oh, when well, he just beached himself. So, what? Punishment coming up. Set him on fire. Yeah. Fire. And. He is dead. If he had any company, I would have detected him by now. So, in this case, you should always push the flank. Had enemy DD at the probably decisions decisions. I have my cruiser support and torpedo bombers inside coming for us. So it's time for some inevitable torpedo beats. I don't have any torpedo beats at the moment, but we'll have them in the future. Uh, first one dodged. Second one break break. Can we dodge the second one? So, what should we do now? I said, push the flank. I'm uh, still detected for some reason. Oh, yeah, uh, the fire planes and uh, oh, finally can shoot them down so. I can go to sneak mode again, but that's not happening as fast as I wish so because I know there was a DD at B, I decided to carefully scout B. Careful now. Might be there. Still detected. Oh, there he is. There he is, and it's a Clemson. We hide the island. Time for some torpedo action, but I need to get closer, which might be a bad idea. But at this moment, I was feeling lucky. So acceleration, engage. Let's see what Clemson will do, and uh, if I can catch him off guard, uh, that would be nice. Uh, line up to launch some preempted torpedoes. And quickly turn uh, on the other side. As he shows up, he's trying to hug the island. And here we go. Launching. Launching. Wait for it. We probably won't dodge this, but. Oh, wait for it. There you go. Second kill, and uh, B is probably wide open and clear of enemy DD, so I decide. Uh, why not? Push B, maybe join the big fight that's raging at C. Oh man, it's a big fight. I could have gone on enemy carrier hunting, but that's selfish and. This is team game, and as a destroyer, your primary role is to take capture points, and uh, you should never ever let your team down in that regard and go for carrier kill. Because that's not just selfish, that's useless in most cases. One enemy DD last position was close, so. Mm, careful approach. You should always be aware of your surroundings. Watch the minimap. All the enemy ships are A, so if I run into enemy destroyer, I won't be in danger of being shot by any other ship. But in case there was a cruiser in line of sight, you should boost go carefully in this kind of situation to make sure I will put island between me and the last known position. Of the enemy destroyer just to make sure and of course I will push and try to contribute a little bit more I actually haven't done much damage 15k but I would love to do more capping 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 this this is uh, what it's all about in a destroyer just cap don't be selfish Go on your own. And uh, 
is confirmed. Both enemy DDs are far from me, so pushing A after I cap B is looking as a great idea. We are tied on ships, but friendlies are not looking good, and friendly carriers probably too close to enemy DD, which might result in carrier chase. Uh, not looking good at all. We probably lost A. So, what should I do? What should I do? Hmm. What should I do? Where should I go? Maybe DD? Oh, lots of battles to talk to. Ho ho ho! Hold your horses! We have somewhat long carrier exiting metal point towards me. Juicy carrier. <laughs> now this is an opportunity that you should never ever avoid, so carrier must die. I will try to use island for cover and stay hidden for, for as long as possible, but in the end, he is so dead. So dead. He's uh Closing, he's not aware of it. And, uh, yeah, he's in the torpedo range. So, here, surprise! Launching torpedoes. <laughs> But I have three more ships in line of sight, so... Smoke. Smoke generator oh. started. Oh, yeah. I smoke. And took for the kill. In case, first time. Torpedoes miss. But this close, you just have to fire guns. Because, you know... Why not? And... Whoa! That hurt. Instantly there. And I fired torps from the other side. I have a uh, nice smoke. Okay, oh, carry is dead. Second one. Uh, can't see the smoke, but you can figure out in which direction is that direction I'm going. So, I will use the old trick. Uh, stop firing. And. Wow. Uh, it was surprising if he rushes the smoke. Let's see if it works. Slowly. It is closing. Uh, will you rush the smoke? Hmm. He didn't rush the smoke. But, never mind. I can ambush him on the, the other side of the island, so I don't fire guns because I don't want to let him know I double back. And now, we go for a classic USDD ambush. Yeah, this is a classic example of how an ambush should look like, but there are two battleships. Oh, that might be a problem. But I have two friendly cruisers bearing on their position, so Operation Ambush is still go, but I'm getting uncomfortably close to them and Okay, I will fire one set on one BD and the other on the second one and run as fast as I can. Secondaries can break me apart, or one well placed shot from main guns can delete me instantly. And uh, here we go. He sees me. I launch. First one. Second one.
Ouch. That hurts. Uh, another set on the closer view. But he's hugging the island, so ambush kind of failed. Might have done it better, but what can you do? Friendly cruiser is entering the point. So that might help, but we're, we're dangerously close to them. That's a bad idea. So, door pits on car one. And they cause body knives. Five kit damage. Now let's see the other one. one. Ah. One hit. Uh, could be better. Now smart thing would be to exit detection range and turn around. Friendly CV my friendly cruiser. I'm sorry, my kill him anyway. Uh, but oh, I'm not detected. Friendly CV is doing fine. I'm turning around. Getting ready to smoke, light him on fire. Another friendly cruiser is up front. Good, good, and here we go. Smoke generator started. As soon as I'm detected, smoke and fire. There are the guns. Engine Still sees me, but that's because I'm too fast for the smoke. Now he doesn't. Come on, baby, light my fire. Light a fire. We did go. This sticks. This one. He always used damage repair. Control along the way. Would be nice. Yeah, but. He's maneuvering. So, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that a fire flag? A rank one player. Oh man! Now I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. This is a trophy kill. But yeah, turn, turn, turn. The other side. I have to mask the, the other side of torpedoes. I'm kind of scared at this point because this is rank one player. He knows his stuff and uh... Okay, let's see. I launch some torpedoes. And these guns are turned on the other side. That doesn't stop me fire. It's nice that he's not looking. And here we go! A trophy kill! Oh man, that felt nice! One rank, one player to the Davy Jones locker. Booyah! Now, that, that was satisfying. Get a high caliber award along with the kill. Nice. Wait, uh, another battleship showing up. Quick check on the minimap. Friendly carrier on the other side is getting chased by the bees being capped. But this battleship that showed up is in line of sight of our friendly carrier. It's just a matter of detecting it. I'm not too low on the HP, but he who dares, he wins. Let's go for honorable kill because I probably won't survive this attack. The protecting carrier and Kraken are in the place, so let's do it. For a moment, I was thinking about changing my mind here because of the points. That alone might have brought us victory, but at this point, I wanted Kraken. Carrier scored some hits with dive bombers. Now, the torpedoes. And now. It's almost yeah to death. Oh, right. Full speed ahead. Not ranking speed, but I gotta be thin as a blade. Uh, I'll try on set on this side. We'll probably maneuver. 
Oh man, this was a bad idea. He is moving, but... Oh man... He's gonna dodge them all. Yeah, she's dodging them all. Ah, uh, we won't dodge this one. He's not expecting. Uh, I'm so dead. I'm so, so dead. Oh man, I'm dead. But will the torps kill him? And uh, yeah, oh yeah. Kraken unleashed, baby. Kraken unleashed. Since there's only DD and the carrier left on friendly team, I type in chat. It's all about. It's all up to them to stay alive, but Tikri quickly wins the battle. Uh, and man, Kraken unleashed. Rank 1 player. Ambushing carrier. This this was a nice game. This was really nice, nice game. And the uh, tick rate just goes over a thousand. And we won. I hope you enjoyed this game, uh, Nicholas, because it was really enjoyable and fun for me, especially surprising the enemy carrier and killing the rank one player. I recommend everyone to at least try Destroyers, because if you do, right. Reward outweighs all the bad things about them. You know, armor and stuff, uh, detectability. US Destroyers can be fun. Really, really fun. And, uh, yeah, US Destroyers. Man, that, that's, this was... This was a great game, and uh, yeah, that will be it for today, fellow captains, and I'll see you on the hot seas.